one of the things I wanted to do with this channel, besides being a beam of light out there to, you know, inspire people, positive change, I want to add a little bit of danger. What's this crazy motherfucker going to do next every time you watch one of these videos? What's up? Welcome back to the channel, baby. This is the fire-breathing motherfucker coming at you again, man. I just want to say real quick, thanks for people for watching the videos. They've been getting a little bit of action. I appreciate it. Thanks for leaving me comments. Thanks for subscribing to the channel. I appreciate it more than you know, baby. More than you know. Got a new location today. I'm in the, uh, I guess it's the, our second guest room. This used to be my studio, but then of course I got too much shit and I had to move into the bigger room. You know, what kind of problems do I got? I don't got enough room for my toys. I gotta go on in. Ah, anyways. So anyways, one of the things, this room is pretty much empty now, but it has one special thing that we still have in here. And that's, we got all the CDs. You can't see them, but all the CDs are in here. And speaking of which, I got a little something up here. I've been working on it. Every time I come in here, I'm sliding it around, but I'm going to get to a point. In my next video, we're going to start that new series I was talking about. I bumped it up to 40 because I just thought 40 sounded better. But we're going to do 40 to 1 of my favorite albums of all time. It's going to be quite the show. Anyways, the reason I called this video The Last Supper is because, and let me preface this right away. This one was my wife's idea. She actually, she's like, I can't believe you haven't made this video yet. And I'm like, hey, that's a badass idea. I think I'll fucking steal it. Anyways, what we're going to be doing today, actually, we'll get into that in just a minute. I got a couple more things. My brother from another mother, the C-Ren, he started up his own YouTube channel. I'll put the name right here. It's called Bass and Barrel. Check that shit out, man. It's cool. He's doing his own little thing. You know, it's it kind of it's got like a like a gentleman's loungey kind of vibe to it. It's kind of cool, man. Check it out. Like I said, Bass and Barrel. You know, he sent me a text. You know, he's like, "You got any advice?" And I'm like, "Dude, I I, I ain't giving no advice to anybody. This channel is me." Talking shit into this phone. And that's it, man. That's the soul of the channel. That's all there is. So I ain't going to be giving out no advice. Although I will say one thing. <laughs> Who's this Chad guy? You are the c -Rin. Anyways. One more thing I want to say. My neighbor that I was talking shit about last video. He is doing this something too, man. He's got his own thing. It's called, and I'm going to put it right here. Google this. If you, uh, you know, I'm not really the, uh, I don't have a beard, but if you got a beard, check out the Houston Beard Company. He started up his own company. It's got all kinds of cool products. My buddy back home in uh, Wisconsin, Todd, he's got a beard. He digs it. Normally, I wouldn't speak for somebody, but he's on the website, so I'm, th I'm thinking he's, he's digging it. So if you got a beard, you want some products to take care of your beard, check that shit out. But like I said, I'm not trying to sell you anything. It's just a couple of my buddies. They're doing their own thing. I support it. So if you want to check it out, check it out. If you don't, that's fucking cool too. Anyways. Oh, you know, I was going to mention, I'm not really the target audience. You know, I, have had the, I like the goatee, but I don't really do the beard. You know, the wife doesn't really dig the beards. But the main reason I'm not a beard guy is because I don't know how to use a fucking axe. Every one of the motherfuckers has got a big axe on their shoulder, man. Anyways, real quick, I know I teased it at the title. <laughs> you know, I'm getting a little older, went to the doctor for the checkup. And, you know, when you're getting my age, uh, the C word is colonoscopy. I didn't want to be anywhere near that son of a bitch. But anyways, the good news is the doc said, I don't have to do it. I'm going to do a test. I'm going to poop in a box. Yeah! I'm 
always taking poop from the box selection, man. Mrs. Fire got a little upset because, uh, you know. But anyways, I'm pretty happy. I'm going to be one happy motherfucking box pooper. Ha <laughs> ha! Man. Thanks for watching these videos again, by the way, because this is just some fucked up shit right here. Let me tell you. Anyways, uh, let's get on to today's video, man. Like I said, and I want to say it again, this was my wife's idea. A little bit of, you know, on, usually on Fridays, you know, I clean the house and everything, but we got some hardwood floors out in the living room. My wife's got this fancy fucking machine that talks. I still think it's fucking evil and I don't like it. But anyways, you know, I don't want to break the fucking thing. So she, you know, Friday night she comes home. She whips that thing around the floor. It takes like an hour. I go in the guest room, turn on the TV, and I shut the door. Because my wife, her, I mean, her favorite band is Led Zeppelin. So she knows her shit. But she's got a couple where I'm like... What the fuck is she listening to? So that's what we're going to do today. We got, you know, I like to do my fives. Number five. You know, this one, I'm just going to put it down here. I think I'm going to call it the Bear Naked Gear Daddies. Because I thought it was the Gear Daddies that does that, you know, that song that, It's been one rain till I fuck me. Whatever that fucking song is. I thought it was the Gear Daddies. Apparently, it's bare naked lady. I'm just going to put all that shit together. I don't like any of it. Number five, fuck it. And like I said, I'm just talking shit. You know, I don't mean disrespecting to, to be disrespectful to anybody. I'm just having some fun, man. You know, everybody likes what they like. You know, let's just respectfully agree to disagree all that, you know, all that kind of shit. Anyways, number four. Number four on the list. You know, normally I wouldn't say, don't judge a book by its cover. But in this case, fuck yeah, super tramp, super tramp. And believe it or not, there's two of these fucking things, at least two. How the fuck did that happen? Anyways, number four, super tramp. Number three, she loves the fucking hippie shit, Jackson Brown. No, this is, this is cool, but you know, I gotta be honest. This guy, I just, I see his face and I want to fucking punch him in the face. I don't know. I'm not a violent guy, but it's just, you know what? It is what it is. Oh, another quick thing. This is just an honorable mention. You know, like I said, she likes Zeppelin. She likes some cool stuff, Tom Petty. But, you know, we were organizing the CDs and, you know, right away she's like, what do I do with Melon Camp? Like, settle down, Beavis. We'll put it in the M's. Just keep it away from the Metallica and the Megadeth and the Mastodon. Deal. Anyways, number two. <laughs> Neil Diamond, man. Neil Diamond. You know, every once in a while, I mean, look at that motherfucker. That's a badass motherfucker. But anyways, every once in a while, you know, uh, I'll, I'll, be, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be a nice, caring husband. And I'll be like, hey, honey, why don't you pick out tonight's tunes? And then she leaves the room and I start going... Please no Neil Diamond. Please no Neil Diamond. Please no Neil Diamond. Anyways, no. Neil Diamond's cool. My grandma used to do a kick-ass impression, impression of him. She'd be standing, sitting in the chair and all of a sudden, I am, I said. I am, I said. And I'm like, you know, no more wine for grandma. Anyways, number two. And number one, once again, I'm not being disrespectful, but... How much weed you gotta fucking smoke to get into this shit? I don't know. I mean, actually, that, they had that one cool song, Break Shit, Break Stuff. But yeah, what the fuck is that? Anyways, that's the fucking video today. Man, like I said, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for leaving me some comments, watching the videos. And like I said, my boy c -Rin, my neighbor, if you want to check that shit out, check it out. But I, I am not, you know... I'm, not, I'm never going to try to sell you fucking people anything, man. So, anyways, if you want to check it out, check it out. I'm going to start that fucking list 40 to 1 next week, man. It's going to be epic. The fire-breathing motherfucker has spoken.